in March uh, or April of 2011, I decided to give Linux another look. And this was during a time I was getting pretty upset at Windows. And I decided to have a look at this distribution and was completely blown away by the fact that it powered all of my devices without any issues. And of course, I'm speaking about Linux Mint. We are looking at their latest release and their default desktop, which is Cinnamon version 2.0, Linux Mint 16 Petra, right now on Spatry's Cup of Linux. Okay, let's begin. Well, here it is. Linux Mint 16 Petra using its default Cinnamon desktop. Now, uh, the only difference with this is I moved the panel from the bottom all the way to the top of the screen because I happen to like to have my panels over at the top. Don't ask me why, it's just a preference. And uh, let's go ahead and have a quick look at what you get with this. All right, you can collapse all windows and show the desktop. You have uh, quick access to uh, your time and a drop-down calendar will appear here, beautifully themed and laid out. Uh, your uh, battery indicator, if you're using a laptop computer like I am, a volume control, your network indicator. And then this here is your notifications that will uh, appear on your screen. Uh, on the upper left, get a quick access to your files. This uses the powerful Nemo file manager, which is a fork of Nautilus, which gives you more features. Uh, you also have quick access to your terminal, the Firefox web browser, and of course, you can show your desktop. Okay, something I want to note is I already did a review of Cinnamon version 2 when I was running this on top of my Manhoro desktop, but I'll tell you what, it appears that Cinnamon 2 behaves a lot nicer in Linux Mint. Uh, this, this is really uh, running beautifully. Um, and another nice thing I'd like to point out about Linux Mint 16 is it's great for those of you who want to test this out in a virtual machine in your native screen resolution. It is set to work beautifully with VirtualBox, and i got to love it when developers put this little added attention to detail, because I always say if a distro doesn't run very well in a virtual environment, why would I want to try it in an actual hardware environment? So this is an added plus because this is how I always test my distributions these days. All right, before I go into any of the programs that come preloaded with this, I want to show you some really neat features that this brings to the table. Uh, one of them is uh, hotspots. Now, I think they've had hotspots before, uh, but this is something that's quite cool because, you know, you can set your corners to do different things. And uh, in this case, I set up four workspaces and then I'm easily able to switch between uh, the different uh, workspaces. Uh, also, uh, another neat little feature here is hinting. And so by moving a window, okay, you'll see these little hints, maybe even something up in the corner, which will allow you to uh, hint when you are snap you know, using the snapping modes and that sort of thing. So great for those of you who want to maybe tile uh, things in different workspaces and such. So I thought that was a pretty neat little feature that they've added. Let's go ahead and close these. And then I'm going to discuss the settings manager because this is also a powerful feature in this desktop. So by clicking on the menu here, and going into system settings, you're going to see that there is a lot of customization options available to you, and you can truly make this your own. Uh, you can configure your backgrounds here, uh, but I want to show you the theme support, because there are three themes that come included with this. Personally, I think this theme probably matches the wallpaper a little bit better, so I can actually apply that theme, and then you're going to see uh, we have a nice matching appearance to go with the uh, system. So I think that's kind of cool. But if none of these are to your liking, that's okay. You can get more of them online by clicking here. And you will see they have a lot of themes available and they're all ranked uh, in according to popularity. It looks like Void is the most popular one. And of course they have some ones down at the bottom here that aren't quite so popular. But the thing is, some of them look pretty cool. There are applets available that you can use to give your panel or give Cinnamon more functionality. There are accessibility options, Bluetooth options. I mean, there is a whole list of things. And if there isn't 
something listed that you want. Get more online. We'll go ahead and search their database and you will see they have got tons of stuff. So if you want to have a classic menu on this, you can have that if you want. You know, um, and I mean, I, there's just no way I could go over all of the different uh, options that this gives you. So I always say experimentation is key. Okay, you also have the ability to add desklets. So let's say you want to have uh, some a really nice uh, clock to add to your desktop. Uh, you can add this and guess what kids this matches the theme that you have on your panel because I tried this earlier with a different theme and it, it forced the clock to match the theme so I thought that was also a nice little touch as well and then of course they only have three of them included here but as always, you can get more online, and the community has really stepped up. Now, There's looks like there's only 15 uh, things that are available now, but as this gets more popular, I imagine we'll start seeing even more desklets that you can add uh, to your desktop, should you decide to use them. Personally, I prefer a nice, clean desktop without any clutter and that sort of thing, and Conky is usually a good enough thing for me there. But this is just yet another option to add that next level of coolness to your desktop. There are also extensions that you can get for this, but none are installed by default. By, but by getting more online, you know, you can get the cover flow effect. So when you're switching between your desktops, you can have a 3D effect. And some of these will provide a pseudo uh, compiz like effects, such as wobbly windows and that sort of thing. And I wonder if they even have the desktop cube. That would be something else if they did. It doesn't look like they do. But the thing is, it looks like they are starting to really refine uh, Mutter or their spin of it called uh, Muffin and uh, be able to, you know, get all these effects and features added. I think that is a wonderful thing. So good job to the Linux Mint team and all of the people that are creating content for this. This is incredible stuff here. Okay. All right, you have a number of other things that you can do here. Uh, this is where you can manage those hot corners, for instance, and in the upper upper left, when I kept putting the mouse in the upper left, it kept pulling up the expo mode. But the thing is, maybe I don't want that there because, you know, uh, you know, I'm always going up there for the menu. So maybe I would probably want to put expo in the lower left. And now it works that way. So that that's a cool function. So, I mean, having hot corners can be an added benefit to you, especially if you want to be able to maybe uh, scale something or uh, do some other custom things. Uh, that might be a fun thing for you. You'll definitely want to play around with your panel settings. This is where you can uh, set the panel at the top of the screen if you want to. Also, we can close this here. We can actually right click on the panel Okay, you can go into panel edit mode, and then from here, you can customize this to your heart's content. You can add and remove different things to this if you want to. You can reposition and move things around. So, you know, you can really make this your own. Okay, so let's see what you get with this. All right, a standard set of accessories come preloaded with this, an archive manager, calculator, character Mac. You can manage your disks, uh, read different documents. All right, uh, you get a note taker, which is Tomboy. And then, of course, uh, there is a USB stick formatter and a USB image writer. Great for those of you who want to burn your ISO images to a flash drive and then be able to boot off of them. So it's great that they've got that included. Uh, a nice, simple assortment of uh, accessories uh, for managing your images. You get the GIMP, G-Thumb, an image viewer, and simple scan. Of course, in the Internet, you get desktop sharing. You get the Firefox web browser, Pigeon for all of your instant message needs. You get a Thunderbird mail transmission for your BitTorrent needs. And then, of course, <laughs> you get XChat IRC. And when you log in on uh, XChat IRC, be sure uh, to visit my room, Spatry, that is uh, the, the pound symbol, and then Spatry. And uh, you'll actually get to chat with me on IRC. I'm in there every day. You get a full LibreOffice suite included with this, so you can manage all your Office documents. Banshee for managing your music. Brazero for making coffee coasters. I mean burning CDs. You know, I haven't tried Brazero in a long time, so it's probably making good discs now. They probably fixed all the bugs. <laughs> Why do I keep joking about that? Ugh. All right, you also get a video player and then a VLC a media player as well, which will pretty much chop up any video that you're uh, wanting to play. I hope, I hope, I hope. All right, 
you get uh, a number of uh, preferences here. You can manage your Bluetooth, color, uh, desktop sharing, yada, 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 yada. Most of this is covered right here in your system settings. Uh, some administration tools are included with this as well. You manage those partitions. You can uh, manage uh, the people who log into the computer, set up logins, that sort of thing. Your software manager, software sources for installing your packages, all of that's here. And then quick access to your places, your documents, music, pictures, videos, and downloads, yada, yada, yada. All in all, once again, Linux Mint team keeps doing a magnificent job. I really love what they did with Cinnamon uh, version 2. It is fast. It is responsive. It's, it doesn't appear to be quite as buggy as previous releases that I've looked at. I know I ran Cinnamon for a little while, and I had problems with it crashing and that sort of thing. And this is not something I'm experiencing this time around. Maybe I just haven't put enough time into it to... Uh, see if it, you know I didn't try and break it this time around uh, but it looks like it's stable so good job Linux Mint team and where uh, all the fear uncertainty and doubt is uh, concerning uh, security and that sort of thing uh, there are documents online telling you all the different things that you can do to keep your uh, desktop secure and that sort of thing. I don't really see this as being a vulnerable operating system. I don't believe everything that I read on the internet. Well, that's all that I have on this. As a reminder, please consider supporting the show hosts that bring you the content you enjoy the most by disabling your ad blockers or shouting them some coins. Also, be sure to visit yours truly at www.cupoflinux.com. This is where you can interact with me. I have a forum and I have an IRC, a chat where you can uh, jump in, and I'm usually on there most of the time. So if you have any questions or you have any comments for me, be sure to sign up for the forum or catch me on IRC. Peace out.